What's going on everybody? I'm getting an early start today instead of like 5 p.m. like the past few videos. Uh, I got my water pump back. Uh, Holly sent me this and we took the uh, we took the like heater core bungs that are on there out and welded on some NPT to AN fittings. One has a plug on the back side. This is a dash six so I can run my line up from where the water pump is to the expansion tank on the bottom there. So now I can finally put the accessories back together. Unfortunately, my intake's still not here. It's Saturday, so nothing's coming. And I asked you guys to guess what the new part, who the new partner was. He knows. <laughs> Secret, don't tell anybody. But uh, it's not a Procharger, it's not a Supercharger, it's not NOS, it's not a Turbocharger. I'm, people were saying Mishimoto. I already work with Mishimoto. Uh, so keep guessing. But we're gonna get cracking on this thing. I'm gonna start putting all the accessories back on the front of the engine. <coughs> and then we gotta get this panel in and move the switch panel over onto the new panel for the dash and make it look nice and pretty. Water pump's on, it looks great. I'm gonna throw a dash six fitting on there just to see what it looks like, because I've been excited about this. Forty five probably would have been better. I should have got a forty five. But if you run it like this, I can kind of run it off here along this frame rail up the back side into the expansion tank there. Should be good. I'm gonna be completely honest, with this Holly kit, this shit goes together so fast. I did have somebody to hold the power steering pump while I put the bolts in and stuff, but you could do it on your own, no problem, and it's fast as hell. So, the front of the engine's back together. Uh, we got our cam sensor wires uh, kind of hidden behind the water pump, also the alternator wire. Um, power steering pump's on. The lines are just dangling because the radiator's not in right now. Um, but yeah, went together pretty good. I still got to clean all this shit up because it's just kind of dangling, waiting for its uh, uh, new intake manifold. Moving on now to the inside of the car, which working inside this thing is not ideal with the seats in here. It's a bitch and the dash and everything. It's No matter how much shit you cut out, it still sucks to work in here. So that's the next move.
bit's about done. Yeah. Fits like a glove, dude. A little bit of teamwork and some elbow grease, and it's in there. Finalized. We couldn't utilize this third hole, but it's still very, very sturdy. Just got to throw the grounds. Two grounds in the front here, two grounds on the side there. And it's, uh, it's good to go. I'm very happy with it. I think I made th we made too much progress in too little time. I was going to spend a whole day out here, and now I'm... Now we're done. I threw this back together real quick before I got to leave and run some errands. Um, but uh, I got a piece of hose and I ran it. Uh, it's a barb fitting off that dash six. And I ran it up to the expansion tank. Got the radiator back in. Still got to secure the fan shroud. And uh, got the hoses back on. I'm trying to figure out, somebody might know this in the comments, and if you do, I would sincerely appreciate it if you told me. But basically, I have a barb there, and one there for an overflow. Now, do I need to cap this one, and run my overflow off of the expansion tank, or vice versa? Let me know in the comments, thank you. So before I end today's video, um, you guys noticed I sold my 24 foot enclosed trailer. Uh, a couple months ago and I was talking about how I wanted to upgrade I needed something with a little bit more space and I've been looking around all over the place I was looking in Georgia Florida uh, the Midwest I was looking everywhere for either a new or used enclosed trailer around the length of 30 to 34 feet um, and there's just there's one in my front yard so this is the one we took to California it's Orion's and he's upgrading to something a little bit bigger for himself so this is basically just going to sit around and it needs a little TLC. It's 34 feet bumper toe. And I think I'm going to buy it from him. Uh, we talked about a price. It was super uh, reasonable. It's still kind of a mess from our trip, but um, yeah, plenty of space for just me. I'll walk you guys through what I want to do with it if I do buy it. Um, one is there'll be a tire rack on each side that holds eight tires or eight wheels on each side. And then basically from this to the light switch will be a big rack that holds spare parts. And then on this side, same thing, probably to about he this post here, there's a beam behind there there'll be a rack that holds spare parts. And then the front, toolbox, hopefully do like a little bench that I can uh, just work on, work on stuff on. And then I wanna get a couch that I think, this, is, this, uh, this isn't for sure yet, but I think that if I get a couch and I put it here and it folds out, it'll fold out right to the door. Um, so if I could do that, that would be super sweet. It would just give me a place to sleep and crash on the road or whatever. It could use an AC unit. Um, the couple things that need to be fixed are, it needs new hubs, uh, new brakes, new tires. And uh, there's a couple spots where I could use a little bit of work. But the price we came up with is well worth the efforts to fix it. The uh, door assist cable that helps you, the door helps you be able to close and open the door. That snapped. Orion ran it over this car. Uh, this needs to be fixed. But I mean, overall, it's just a box on wheels. So I think I think it'll be sweet. That's gonna conclude today's video, though. It was uh, pretty quick. Everything went together pretty fast and no real hiccups and that's not very uh common in my uh day-to-day -day, uh mechanic life on my own car but uh yeah i'm happy i really like that lrb switch panel or like bezel i linked it in yesterday's video their website lrbspeed.com go check it out i'm going to get food for raven and i and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace